Can I please now um, invite? I'm blushing. Uh, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan on stage, please. Hare. Now, what do I do? Okay. Um, Randi Bhutta, um, Richa Chadda, Darshan Kumar, can we please come on stage as well? See, good content can reach the audiences only through um, good producers. If they are backing it, that's when good content can come to us. And can we please have the producers on stage? Um, Bhushan Kumar, Jackie Bagnani, Deepshika Deshmukh, Sandeep Singh, and Krishan Kumar on stage. And may I also call upon the co-producers of the film, um, Ajay Kapoor, Priya Gupta, Vanita Oman Kumar, Rajesh Singh, and the DOP, Kiran Diohans on stage, please. I think before we even start conducting uh, today's proceedings, I'm sorry it occurred to me. It wasn't premeditated. Um, it's something we as a team genuinely, um, emotionally feel, believe. And uh, I think before we start, let's just, um, as a mark of respect, give a, maintain a minute of silence for Sarabjit himself. Because uh, three years ago, I think we were all so busy in our lives. It probably was something we as Indians read in the papers, but continued with our lives as was. Well. So let's maintain a minute of silence for him, for Kirpal Singh Ji this week, whose sad demise has been misreported, and for a cast member of our movie who essays the role of Darji, who passed away. Ram, Ram Murthy Sharma. Ram Murthy Sharma. Uh, he played the role of our father, and he passed away a couple of weeks ago. So please join us in paying our respects. Thank you. Please Thank continue. You. Thank you. So, Omang sir, um, Mary Kom and now there's Sarabjit, both of them, biopics, were they specifically designed like that, or? No, I mean, I I've said this before also, it's not specifically designed that if one biopic runs, I'm supposed to make another one. It just so happened that Sandeep came with the idea to me that this is a fantastic subject, please have a look. Once I saw it online, I was so mesmerized by Dalbir Kaur and the story that I said, okay, I have to do this film. And it hit me somewhere, I said, my God, this is a hard-hitting story and a life that people know of, but they don't know the depth of it. And that's why I thought we should make this film. Um, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, um, the hardest part of playing Sarabjit, because entirely the, in the movie, it's emotional, it's draining. Um, it, was, it must have been really difficult for you to, to essay the character, but I would like to ask you, how difficult, how challenging was the role of Sarabjit Kaur? I'm oh, sorry, Talbir Kaur. Um, to begin with, um, when Umang came to me with the subject, um, it was an immediate yes. He's already shared that with you. Uh, because when you hear the story, I mean, I'm sure you all already got the, the feeling, the vibe of it when you saw the, the trailer right now. Um, how can we walk away from being a part of telling the story and sharing it with everybody, especially the human story? Um, we are all uh, familiar with the reportage. And thank you all for doing what you do day in and day out. But nevertheless, there are a lot of, uh, as I started out saying today, that we all still individually as Indians continue with our lives. We do get affected, we do get disturbed, but we don't necessarily uh, can possibly experience or take the minute out to experience what, how and just an incident can completely change the dynamic of uh, a family it can change the lives of a family. And um, it was important to be part of that narrative and to share it with us Indians. Um, Sarabjit's life uh, cannot go, um, his story cannot go unknown. And Talbir fought um, for over 23 years uh, relentlessly. I mean, this kind of sibling love and commitment uh, the lady's uh, capacity to um, be Sarabjit for his family, to be Sarabjit's Dalbir uh, Panji for, uh, for him, to be Darji's um, uh, spirit and um, strength to be able to keep the fight on going. 
uh, is just uh, a commendable, unbelievable spirit. And there, I think, adjectives fall short to describe that spirit, which exists in so many households of our country and worldwide. So this story needed to be told. And thank you, Mang, for bringing it to me. Thank you, Utkarshini, for writing the way that you have. And thanks to the whole team for um, us bringing it to life. Thank you so much. Um, Randeep Hutta, you're a, you're a fantastic actor. I mean, what, what more can I say? Uh, it's very difficult to actually, and as actors, you know, you guys do different sort of characters, weight loss, kar liya, weight gain. Kar liya. I mean, personally, I want to know, how do you lose so much weight and then you do the other things that you do and, um, and with such finesse and uh, honesty? Uh, how did you do it? It was easy. I do it every day. Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> The hard part of a character, of course, weight loss and all that is uh, something we had decided and uh, it took a lot of willpower to achieve that. But the hardest part of the character was the fact that a lot is known and documented about Dalbir Kaur. Not much is known about him and his prison life. So that, to keep it true and to keep it uh, <coughs> within the script and keep it as uh, honest as possible and to go through the suffering he did for 23 years where out of 18 out of that 18 years he was locked up in chains and um, was in a kal tree. so imagining all that was the harder part um, and uh, you know with uh, umang and as a co-conspirator it was very easy and uh, i feel that everybody in the cast has done a fantastic job and um, i'm very uh, proud to be a part of this movie Thank you. Thank you so much, Randeep. Richa Chadda, uh, sorry, <laughs> took you by surprise. Um, you are taking us by surprise with every role that you portray. Um, with, this, with this film, uh, what were your challenges and what was so interesting about the character? For me, um, I read the script, it took me about two days. And I understood the weight of my character. Of course, it's supporting these two primary characters. But um, my deep down belief is that, uh, you know, I feel like politicians have kind of failed to create peace. So it's only up to artists and musicians and writers. And honestly, it sounds very like, <laughs> whatever, preachy, but that's really my core belief that it's only via films like these that we can possibly reach out and create some kind of... Um, this, this film is about the human side of... the human casualty of conflict, the, whether it's India-Pakistan or terrorism or whatever, but it's, it's, um, it's the lives behind the statistics, and that's what really interested me. And of course, the director, the writer who I know, and the incredible cast. I've worked with Randeep before, and I'm sweating because I'm intimidated by him always. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm really proud to be a part of this film. Very well said. Thank you so much, Richa. Uh, coming on to Darshan Kumar, uh, you're looking really hot. Sorry, I had to, I had to crack this line. But can I please ask you about your role, about the challenging parts of it? It's an emotional film. It's a serious film. Um, yes, over to you, sir. Uh, I would like to say thanks to Umang sir, uh, Sandeep sir, Vanita ji for giving me this chance to work in this film. Such a beautiful story. I just love the story. Uh, and I, I got a chance to work with vers versatile actors like Ash, Randeep, Racha. It was such an amazing uh, journey, I would like to say. And uh, I'm playing Aweh Sheikh, a Pakistani lawyer. For uh, I think he's a fighter. A common man did an extraordinary thing for humanity. So, when I read the role, I felt like, wow, this I have, uh, I have to do it. And uh, it was such a nice journey. And uh, I just love the film. Thank you so much, Darshan Kumar. Thank you. So now, um, the media, if you've got any questions, please. They're all yours. Hi, Ashwarya, ma'am. This is Urvi here from Pinkula. Hello. Hi. Uh, ma'am, this role is emotionally demanding and draining. What was the kind of preparation that you went through when you had to do this role? Actually, this is possibly one of the fastest films we've ever made. 
in our careers. I think that holds true for most of us here. Um, so credit goes to the potential of the subject itself, um, the director helming it. That's why I keep saying, actually, I'm going to name each member of the team. The producers who have come on board and in helped us infuse it with the life that we wanted to. Vanita for creating the ambience where we just naturally felt we are part of this narrative. We are the characters that we are. Shah, uh, Shahid Amir for uh, keeping with uh, Umang and all our vision for the way we want to essay the characters and not making it about, chalo hum aise film bana rahe hain. It's not about that, it's about, about being sensitive to the palette. And I think having Umang and Vanita and someone as experienced as Kiran G, I'll say, just for the experience, but he's called KD by the team. Okay, so he has literally brought our world to life and whatever we all might strive to do an essay, if he is not out there capturing it, uh, we are all done in four. So genuinely, a huge round of applause. I always have the highest respect for the DOP there on set because we all can do what we want. You can say action, cut a million times, we can all do a hundred takes and retakes, but every little nuance, if not captured, the way we want essayed by him and his team, gaye kaam se. So, <laughs> it's, it's really a huge thank you to him and his team, all the assistants who strive day in and day out, uh, relentlessly. When we do such a fast project, believe you me, uh, it's, it's 48 hours and 24, each day, and that's the way we've worked. Um, so I think that'll give you an insight into the preparation. Dive into the deep end and swim. That's what we all have done, but the power remains in what we had to begin with, and that's why we always say script. Hence, Utkarshini definitely deserved to be up here on stage. You know, when, when the writing has it all, and as a team, we work together on set, genuinely, um, as artists. Um, we, we all can come together and bring to life every day. This is one of those movies where the oddest answer I think anybody can give here saying is, it was a pleasure doing this role. <laughs> because that's something you cannot say. It's too intense, too disturbing on a daily basis. But as artists, I'm sure we all feel uh, grateful to have got an opportunity to essay these characters and tell their story to you all, the audience. Hi, Omang. Uh, this is R.J. Alu uh, on your left. Hi. The question is that Sarbjit ki zindagi, abhi Kripal Singh sahab ke saath jo hua, ya koi border cross karta hai, to usse pakar liya jata hai. To ye jo mudda hai, ye sirf entertainment ke liye nahi ho sakta. Aap sarkar se bhi baat karenge, jo humare kaidi wahan par पाकिस्तान की जेल में हैं या जो इस तरीके की परिस्थितियों में आते हैं कि आखिरकार उनका अंजाम कुछ और होता है तो कुछ इसके विषय में आपने सोचा है जब ये पिक्चर स्टार्ट करने जा रहे थे हम मेरे दिल दिल के ख्वाहिश थी थ्रू दिस फिल्म अगर एक आदमी बाहर आता है तो दैट्स द ट्रू मीनिंग फॉर मी टू मेक दिस फिल्म मुझे लगा ही था मैं बोल बोल के थक गया हूँ कि लेट स्टार्ट अ फाउंडेशन एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड वन फाउंडेशन ब्रिंग दैम होम ब्रिंग दैम होम बैक एंड this we want you know prisoners from there their story their families us our family over here and uh, this film will in the end show you what the hope we want from the government from the audience to realize and accept what is going on and we have to do something about it maybe maybe through this film that one person agar nikal jayega to i think the meaning of this film will be complete Whereas, Hi, Ashwarya, here, here, on your right. Right, 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 yes. Looking gorgeous. Okay, my name is Nilesh from Think Market Magazine. When the makers approached you for this role, what was the thought process? What was your thought process? What were the challenges? And how did you overcome it? The same question would be for Randeep as well. Let's start with Aishwarya. Well, just to, uh, I think, keep the proceedings faster, I think I'm more or less, um, uh, answered a large part of that question when I was answering the lady on my left. But um, I would like to add one thing though. Um, the subject concerned here, when we're telling the story, albeit um, 
for my character's perspective, I was obviously listening. We always listen to the story as a whole. Um, I think uh, definitely committed actors and artists. We are always happy to tell a story as a whole. We don't necessarily focus on our individual parts. And when we feel there is the potential and the power and the impact in the narrative, uh, all of us are like-minded here. We're happy to come on board. Um, and that you can gauge from our career graph and choices. Um, so Dalbir's character and Dalbir's story, this was strong because I felt uh, uh, maybe I had, I'm having trouble with recollection, but my immediate response was, it's rare that there's such insight given and such uh, attention uh, a narrative can bring to this kind of sibling commitment, this kind of, um, uh, the, this, the sibling relationship. Um, if you take away from the potential of the actual, um, the real story. If you look at it, it's a character of a narrative and such as a character. So uh, that's one way of looking at it. But more than anything else, um, I don't know, it's some kind of divine calling because um, uh, 10 years ago, or approximately in that phase, um, being... Um, being a member of the film industry or the kind of uh, wonderful privileges that uh, being celebrity gives us uh, the opportunity. We don't even possibly realize the potential so often. We, we stand on so many platforms. We are a part and a voice for so many different causes. And uh, we all uh, largely make the time. We, uh, we do all that we can in our uh, capacity. And I say limited capacity because sometimes uh, everybody forgets that we are largely artists. So our day in and day out, we are going on uh, morn to evening. That's our office. That's our job. We're going, making movies, coming away. But then in the extra time, we're trying to definitely do all this as well. It was a letter, that uh, a petition that was going around to some of us uh, who belonged to the public platform, one of them being me. And I too was amongst the um, members of the film industry, I guess, who were called. I know my father-in-law too was, uh, had also signed on for the petition. At that time, not my father-in-law. And me, because that's what I was told. And the letter had come to me as well to sign on uh, a petition while uh, possibly Dalbirji was uh, you know, trying everything possible to bring attention to work at his release. And the moment Umang told me, this is the story of Sarabjit, I had this expression in my eyes. And he said, Kyu? Kya hua? I said, oh, Umang, which is very him. So I said, <laughs> I said, Umang, this is some kind of divine calling. And um, of course, I will hear the whole story. But it was already a yes. I was definitely going to come on board because somehow he and his life and mine had kind of albeit, like I said, just a petition being signed, but it had crossed, our paths had crossed, and um, still unfortunately, he did come back to India in a coffin. Um, I had my own respects, and I was happy to come on board.